Hey guys, it's uh, Wednesday today and the gel coat that we applied at the weekend has really set up. It's still very rough, so the first thing we're going to do today is to knock this back, smooth it off and see what's what. Uh, wifey's off buying uh, an extension cable so that we can both work power tools at the same time. So I'm going to crack on with this and I'll do it in a time lapse if you don't mind. Um, this is one of the jobs that is in progress today. The, uh, the filling that we did with thickened gel coat, we're just knocking back. It's still a bit rough over there. This is the first bit that I've done. And it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. The only bad bits are low spots on there now, so that's good. And I've done up to about there. Um, this is, there's a lot of dips on this section. So that's going to be refilled and fared. Um, I made a bit of a hash of a bit there using a belt sander, which is obviously far too aggressive. But I'd rather go low than go high at this point. And I've just started working this section uh, before we had a lunch break. The trick basically is to wet the surface and uh, use the reflection as a guide because the, the unmolested sections of the hole when they're damp you can see the line very cleanly so it's just a matter of carrying it on down and then when you get to a certain point you can just feel it you can feel low spots there or high spots there so it's just a matter of getting uh, getting the high spots down and then we will go back over um, to fill the low spots and meanwhile lovely wifey who's in Tyvek mode again fully kitted up looking beautiful has been grinding out the old screw holes and stress cracks on the top side here removing the manky old fury sign uh, and now we're going to swap jobs so I'm going to be doing in the companion way and up uh, above the aft bulkhead and some other bits and bobs further around the boat that need looking at as well oh well it's raining at the moment but we're uh, in the process of jet washing the old girl got lots of bashing done down here and that's pretty much all low spots now so hopefully if it's not raining tomorrow we'll be able to do that but she's had a good wash and she looks a lot better bless her uh, there's still a lot of muck coming off from certain bits like uh, under the gunnel seam so I think we might have to uh, seal that up with something that'll be a lot of fun and okay my wife has just cleaned the cockpit, so let's, despite the fact that it's absolutely, it really is starting to rain quite heavily now. Better. Much better, much lovely, and up there, look at this boat, I nearly did a really bad swear, just managed to stop myself. I'm going to have to stop filming now, because it is siling it down with rain. Um, when you go in, can you turn the power socket off? because it really is smashing down and we've got power over here under this box. So right, better crack on, get out of the rain, toodle pip. Good day, good day everybody. Today is Monday, it's a lovely fresh new week. No work for us this week, wonderful, apart from boat work. So here we are back again and this is the stuff that we did. Oh, let's just adjust that and bring it round. This is an example of the stuff that we did last week. So all the grinding out and refilling and uh, now it's uh, set up it needs to be sanded back and uh, the low spots filled as usual with uh, this stuff it kind of contracts in to the voids so we are going to have to do another fill but that's absolutely fine so we will get on with that uh, it's just a matter of running a decent sander I'm going to be using a mouse sander over and just bringing it back level bringing it back to the same height as the original glass and then washing it off bit of acetone there's a more thickened gel coat and hopefully by doing that it will look as good as new ish so let's get on with it and i'm going to get the mouse smooth all over here 
probably going to sound quite loud and sniffy, but there we are. Change the pad, I think. We'll stop for a sec. So I've got to a point now where actually using the hand sander the power of the mouse sander isn't really selective enough so I've taken the pad off and I'm just doing these last few bits manually the old-fashioned way although that bit needs to have the power tool on it I think if I can bring the rest of it down to a, a reasonable level then that really big bit I've got at least something I've got other areas to level off of so this is from this point on the vast majority of our time is going to be spent sanding I believe and uh, Wifey's just out of shot, Wifey's just out of shot that way, she's dremeling the, the gunnels and the, the uh, side decks, which we will have a look at in a moment. But this is really just a question of patience and delicacy, which anybody who knows me will tell you are not my forte. So. Taking a lot of self control. <laughs> mm. So, this is the section that I've just uh, sanded off all the way along there. So, it's looking a lot better. There's still, there still are a few bits and bobs, uh, especially along the bottom, close to this uh, lousy bit of old wood that I'm going to have to finish by hand. And then I will come on to all well, this section, this section and down here and meanwhile young wifey is uh, working on the oh dear do you need another sanding belt okay well we will have to have a break while we retool because wifey broke her sanding belt <laughs> well while I was having so much fun uh, sanding back on the top sides the stuff that we'd uh, done the first fill on wifey's been working the gunnel which we know is a problem and there were lots of obviously bits that I'd missed <laughs> and uh, it's looking a bit worse for wear bless it but the worst thing the worst bit that wifey found was this where the glass was not very well laid up and there was some impact damage so we can go all the way in now and um, we're gonna have to repair it and this is what we're gonna do okay. right so to fix this problem we're gonna take uh, a bit of cardboard and coat that with very lovely blue PVA and then we're going to stick that to the inside of this hole which we can access through a hatch here on the inside of the cockpit and then we are going to uh, put some fiberglass down probably chop sheet uh, resin then some more chop sheet some more resin <laughs> um, and then some structured uh, um, fiberglass mat and some more resin and then once that's all dried up we are removing this and we're going to put gel coats on top uh, probably white to start with just to, to fill it up a bit and then we'll finish it off with the um, trident blue trident blue it's called trident blue gel coat so yeah that's what we do 
So wifey's just soaking up or uh, saturating, wetting out the first bit of chop. And then uh, it will just be painting raw resin onto the uh, the outside of the hole. But you need to paint the outside of the hole first, don't you? Key it in. And you, you, you're safe to go onto the cardboard because it's got the PVA release agent on. So now the choppy goes on. Beautiful. No, you, the line's perfect. The line's absolutely fine. Then we wet that in. We splunge. Yeah, beautiful. So, I'm sure you all know the drill by now. It's layer after layer of chop sheet and structured mat being thoroughly wetted in to make sure there's no voids, no bubbles between the layers. Uh, Wifey did a really good job on this repair. She did all the grinding, all the cleaning up, um, patching the, uh, the glass on, mixing the resin. We mixed 100ml of polyester at 2% because we wanted it to set up fairly quickly. Um, it's never really a good idea to leave external glass work open to the elements overnight because um, in my experience at least sometimes a change in weather conditions or temperature can cause the resin to behave a little bit strangely if uh, it's curing slowly so we wanted it to set up a little bit more quickly than we normally would have it but yeah wifey did a really grand job on this very pleased with the result Okay, so these layers of glass are set up beautifully, absolutely rock solid. Not too much over spill of resin, just a little bit. We can sand that back without too much aggravation. And we we all need to put a few more layers of glass in the middle and just smooth that out. But that's not a, not going to take long. But now Wifey is going to remove the piece of backing card that we coated with PVA. And if the theory is correct, <laughs> it should come straight off. Hopefully, we put three or four coats of PVA on the on this little bit of cardboard, so it should hopefully just come right away, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Oh, I can hear some kind of magic going on. I think the gaffer tape's just come off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Up she comes. So that was that was a beautiful job, darling. That went really well. Excellent. So make a hole and fix a hole all in one day. So this is the result of the sanding on the top sides much smoother, much nicer, much cleaner, much whiter. Same over here. This needs a bit more work down here and on the outside uh, needs a bit more work, but we're looking in much, much better shape. So that's fun. So there we are. We've uh, made and patched a hole all in one day. We've sanded back a lot of the, uh, the fairing that we did or the filling that we did up here, up here and along there. So that's looking a lot better. Really pleased with that. Uh, there's a few too many people about and it's still too early in the day for me to take any drone footage today, unfortunately. So I, I want to be sure that everybody's clear of it, you know, the 50 metre rule and all that jazz. Just got a little bit of measuring up to do because I want to measure the distance between the davits there because that's where the, um, the solar panels are going to go. We've got one panel at home, 50 watt panel at home with a dual battery charger and at some point this week I'm going to be hooking that up. Uh, to the two cranking batteries so we can always be sure we've got some sort of 12 volt supply on the boat which will be nice 
because um, I'm going to be doing some fiddle faddle with the uh, with the internal lighting at some point in the not too distant future. And also, obviously, when we start work on the engines, we'll need to be sure that the batteries are topped. And I don't like leaving um, a 240 volt battery charger powered on when we're not actually at the boat. So this weekend just gone marked a year of our owning this uh, wonderful lump of potential. We've paid our next year's yard fees, so we're not going to get chucked out or thrown in the river or anything like that when we least expect it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go measure up. Um, wifey is just getting ready to go, getting out of her Tyvek. Um, so it's been a productive but short day. So we're going to go home and take a rest. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday, so we're going to spend some time doing what she wants to do for the day. And uh, we'll be back later in the week with episode 10. So, have a good week, take good care of each other, and be very, very nice. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. What a year it's been. At first we thought it would only take us a couple of weeks of light maintenance to get on the water. And since then we've had to gut most of the cabin, strip back all of the hole below the waterline, patch it and get fresh gel coat on, and the list goes on and on and on, and so does the expense. It's been a bit of a tough journey so far, but we're still enthusiastic and the rewards for success will be worth it all. We're hoping we can get most of the hull and the top sides done for the middle of August and get the aft bulkhead replaced shortly after that. We all need fair weather and strong hearts for that job, since we need to strip out the cockpit floor, remove the fuel tank, make good on the inner hull and the sole below the tank, and then replace the bulkhead before getting the tank and a refreshed cockpit floor back down. And before we can splash, we also need to install the solar array on the davits, finish the hull and sole work from the saloon around midships all the way forward to the chain locker, and when that's done, we'll replace the two remaining bulkheads, build a new saloon and galley, sort out a new head and do the forward cabin, and that's without mentioning electrics and avionics, the engine overhaul, plumbing, fresh gel coat and top coat from bow to transom, anti-foul soft furnishings, the canopy, the entertainment system, heating, ventilation, battery banks and all the other good stuff that a good boat needs. Thanks to all of you who follow or like us on Facebook or follow our YouTube channel and most of all, thanks to all the good people on Patreon who support us for the price of just a good cup of coffee every month. We really do appreciate it. The best free way you can support us is to like and share our page and our posts to your friends and followers. And if you're a fellow creator doing similar things, get in touch. We'd love to see what other people are up to as well. Thanks for being aboard and we hope we'll see you again very soon for some more boaty fun.